microservice-based web application using Node.js. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to develop a functionality to list all the books of our application and another functionality to list one single book by its ID. All right, so let's get started. First, in my books.js file, I will, I will create another root here. It will be a get root. And I will call it off books because this, this root here will return for us all the books of our book services. All right. After that, uh, after that this root here will receive this callback as its second parameter. And now, how can we list all the books of our application that's the question and it's so simple we just need to call our model book and call the find method this method here without any parameter we return for us all the books of our books collection in our database in our mlab database in the cloud all right this method here returns for us a promise, and to resolve this promise, we need to use then. This promise returns for us a parameter that is that it is our our books. And here, only for testing, I will print these books. Let let's test it out. Uh, I forgot slash here, sorry. I will open my application here in my browser, in my browser, and here I will access this root, slash books. And here in my console, as you can see, all our books is are listed here amazing now we need to get this information and send to our browser so to do it is really simple we just need to call has dot json because this information here of this books parameter is formatted in json so we need to respond, we need to send a response to our browser as JSON, all right? So here I only will pass this parameter, all right? And now let's make a catch here after the then, oops, here, sorry, to catch arrows. if arrow throw arrow all right let's test it out i will access slash books root and that's it that is our information amazing now our application is capable to list all the books that is saved into our database all right now it's time to do a functionality a little bit more complex than this one here the next functionality that we gonna develop is the functionality that will list one single book by its id this another route here will be get to as the the last root that we create and this root to list one single book we will receive a parameter that will be the the book id here all right and this callback now to list a book by its id we just need to call our method our model sorry book model dot find by id and here we need to pass the id 
And in this case, the ID of the book will be passed by a parameter in Express. But before we do that, what is an ID if you don't know? So, basically, every object inside a MongoDB collection has an ID. For instance, every book inside our books collection has a unique and single ID. So, this is basically the ID, all right? Now, let's take a look at how to manipulate parameters here. How to get the ID parameter that the user can send for us through this route. Now, for testing, I will call, call this function here, send, and inside this function, I will get the value of the ID parameter. To get a, a, a parameter here in Express, you just need to call the rec object dot params and the name of the param. The name of our parameter here is ID. So for instance, if I has if I have another parameter here called name, and if I wish to get this data of this parameter, I only need to put here dot name. If I have another parameter foo, I only need to put here dot foo to get its content. All right. In our case, the single parameter is ID, the unique parameter of this root. And to get the data of this parameter, we just need to put here the name of the parameter. In this case, is ID. And now let's test it out going to this, this root here. So it's the book slash ID parameter root and book slash ID. In this case, I will pass the ID five, six, seven, eight, and that's it. I will pass now the ID Victor, the ID full, and that's it. Now our root is capable to get parameters values, all right, that the, that the, the user can send for us by the parameter. Now it's time to, to go inside our root here. And in this root, we need to call our model, our book model dot find by ID. This function here will list an, an single, a single object by its ID, a single book by its ID. And this function here only require one single parameter and this parameter is the ID. So here we, we can pass as parameter our rec dot params dot ID. And as the find function here, this function return for us a promise as well. So dot then to resolve this promise and this promise here send for us the book and let's catch arrows if it happens if arrow throw arrow it's a good practice do it all right so there is a possibility to to the user pass here an invalid or uh, an, an ID that not exists, that don't exist. 
So if I pass here an invalid ID, our find by ID function will not return a valid book. All right, because if I pass here an invalid ID, I can't find a book with this ID. So if book exists, it means that the user passed for us a valid ID. I will has dot JSON and the content of the book. I will return the book data. And if the book doesn't exist, I will return a error code. Right? Four zero four, for instance. All right. So it's time to test it out. Let's go to this book slash ID root. And here in this root, I will pass an invalid ID. And no response. Now, if I go here and catch an ID of a book here, for instance, this ID here, I will copy it and paste it as our ID parameter and it will return for us the book which which has this parameter here nice I will get another parameter another ID sorry and I, I will go again to this route and that's it, works fine. Now, if I, if I don't pass any parameter, what happened? Nothing. So, that's it. In this lesson, we developed these two functionalities here, a functionality to list all the books of our application and another functionality to list one single book by its ID. I hope you enjoy and if you like this lesson, please let me know in the comment sections below.